Hello everyone. Uh, this tutorial uh, is made for showing how to use the insistence sources and uh, props provided by Quartz's adherent software. Uh, the insistence sources and props uh, is one of the debugging tools uh, from Altera. Uh, this uh, tool uh, allows you to read and write uh, to your design using the gtag resources. Uh, the whole flow uh, of the in system sources and the props is uh, that when you have your uh, top design and you would like to uh, test this design you can use this uh, debugging tool uh, as it will give inputs to your design and can read uh, the uh, and they can read data from uh, from it uh, as you can assign the tenets that you uh, would like to monitor uh, this uh, if the this uh, this tool instantiate uh, the uh, HDLIP code. Uh, so you need to call this HDL code inside your top design and connect the sources and the probes. The sources it uh, the sources will be connected to your, the input of your design and the probes will be connected mostly to the output of your design or for certain nodes or nets inside your design. Uh, you can uh, do this simply by uh, by the GUI provided by Cortez Altero. So let's go and uh, find the how to uh, how to use the in system sources and the probes. So uh, here in my design, you can see that uh, I have uh, this VHDL file. My very small uh, block it is called the BRBS. And uh, there is the top module which is called the BRBS Verify. We can open this BRBS Verify. In this BRBS and score Verify, you can see that I have four clock, uh, four, uh, four, four input ports and one output port. Uh, I will just use this instantiation of the G tag because it will insert the the. Uh, the data for the input ports using the G tag that uh, that you use for programming the FPGA, and uh, it also can read from the FPGA using the G tag. So that will be a direct interface between your software quarters on your PC and the FPGA. So I will just uh, uh, I need to remove the reset, enable, and load, and use this uh, HDL block to in, uh, to put this uh, to put the data for these signals, and uh, monitor the this output and uh, maybe another output inside my design. So uh, this is the, the 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 goal of this uh, of this tutorial. So how to call for the the in system sources and the probes. As you can see, this is the IB catalog, or it was previously known by Mega Wizard function. So inside this IP catalog or the Mega Wizard function, just type in system sources and probes. Just double click on it. Another software will pop up. So after initializing, there will be a window that you will specify the width of the probe and the, the sources. And before this, you can just name the your entity. So this HDL probe that will be produced by the IP catalog, it will just named as you uh, as you prefer. So I will just type gtag underscore system. I'm going to need this G tag to be inside my path. So this is the G tag system, and uh, my FPGA. It is uh, the Cyclone V, and uh, this is uh, its name. So it uh, the Cyclone V family. So okay, I'll just put the port uh, bro. So this will be connected to the nodes that I would like to monitor. So I will put three. And this is for the source, just another three for the enable and reset and load. After this, I need to generate the HDL 
you can specify which language the HDL will be produced. So for this, I will just produce the the language to be VHDL, and it will it will be out, uh, it will be go in this directory. So generate. As you can see, this is the files. So close, and he will just uh, and the, the tool will just uh, build another project that contain this uh, HDL IP. Close. After finishing the generation of the HDL code, just uh, click on finish. Close. Okay. So uh, we can see. Easy Fincher Lab demonstration. You can see eject the G tag system and uh, this file G tag underscore system underscore instance just for the instantiation that we can copy and paste. We can uh, see it using Notepad. This uh, you can copy and paste inside your top design and uh, inside the, the real RTL, just uh, inside the synthesis, you can see the G tag system. Uh, the RTL of it just the uh, IEEE just to build the entity as you wrote and uh, it will assign some parameters uh, the most important thing that uh, it, uh, it just called another module that is, co uh, that is called the AT source underscore group underscore top uh, and this module you can find inside uh, the sub modules so at the alt source and sub uh, uh, alt yeah alt source on the school group on school tool so uh, for uh, for the FPGA you need to include this module and uh, the, uh, the G tag underscore system module inside uh, inside your project and you can use the for the instantiation inside your tool design you can use the instantiation that is uh, that is uh, put inside the g tag underscore system underscore inst so i will uh, put the g tag instantiation inside the brbs underscore verify because this is my top uh, my top file for the fpga flow so uh, away from writing it i'll just uh, see uh, give you the uh, the other uh, the other project that I made, and uh, you can see here that I put the BRPS, uh, the BRPS verify, and the G tag underscore system, uh, along with the ALT source underscore group. Uh, inside the BRPS verify, you can open. You can open it. So I just documented the input for the for. Uh, the four input uh, line to be one input line that would be clock and I will assign this clock to the one inside the FGA and uh, here I added the, the instantiation for the G tag system and uh, also this is the other instantiation for the G tag system and I just for this is uh, it will be connected to a signal called uh, sources concat uh, concatenation so the the zero it will be for reset the one will be for load and two will be for enable and uh, these are my signals that i am interested in that will be connected for connected to the props underscore concatenation so the props underscore concatenation is connected to the probe so the source will just uh, input so it will input whatever signal that i put inside the reset load and the enable and the probes get just it will cat capture or monitor the change inside these signals and uh, give it to probe so I can see uh, I can see it using the uh, the GUI. Just I will compile the design. It will take a uh, few minutes. You, you need to make sure that uh, your FPGA is connected to your PC and uh, it is uh, ready to be programmed and accept uh, uh, another SOF uh, file so 
till uh, till the quarters altera finish going through the whole flow the the in system sources and the probes generally it is used uh, for the first steps in uh, in the FBGA design because you can uh, test your design uh, interactively with uh, with the FBGA because you can uh, put different test vectors to the to the FPGA. However, uh, the in system sources and the probes uh, has a constraint that uh, the uh, the width the width for the input uh, ports is limited to uh, two hundred and fifty six bits, and uh, also for the monitor it would be limited for the two hundred and fifty six bits. And uh, you cannot uh, test uh, vectors th that has vectors that have a length of uh, 512, for example. Uh, that's why it is uh, it has uh, some limitation. However, it is very useful for the early for the early stages in your design. Uh, of course, it is uh, different. Uh, then the the signal tab and the logic analyzer and so on. Uh, uh, don't worry about this file. This file is used of just for the uh, specifying the clock period and uh, and to put the whole constraint. It isn't that complex. Just uh, to match the the clock and assign the, its frequency. For my design, and you can see that I put the assignment editor that only two ports that I have used, the clock, and uh, the output port, uh, which is called pass. Now we almost finish uh, the uh, the compilation. You can just uh, go for tools and click on system sources and props editor don't worry about this you need to go uh, you need to make sure that your hardware is already listed here and uh, this is the device after this for the file you need to search for a .sof file that you can use for programming the FHA so this uh, you can find it uh, inside your output files or uh, the preferred directory that you that you adjusted uh, when you started the project. So open the .soi file, click on this uh, icon for programming uh, the FPGA. As you can see, it uh, programs the FPGA. So now it is ready to acquire. Uh, here are the the three bits for the source and the, the three bits for the probes uh, clicking on this uh, cell just uh, change the the input data so just make it uh, works by clicking on the continuously read the probe data you can interactively dynamically uh, interact with the data uh, maximum size you can adjust it using just uh, 32 bits or 64 bits, 512 and so on. You can just put it for 8 right now. The reset is 1, so the design does not work. So put the reset to 0, the load to 1, the load to 0, and the enable to 1. As you can see, it will start work. Uh, that's it. You can stop the design using this. Uh, this is a black square button. And you can read the probe data one by one using this photo and that's it for the in-system sources and post. So good luck.